I suppose we should talk about Boris Johnson, otherwise he'll um, he'll be cross if he hasn't been spoken about. He's apparently recently moved to Oxfordshire to a 400-year-old moated house. It's said to have cost £3.8 million. But are the neighbours happy? Let's talk to Albert Tate. He's a reporter from the Wantage and Grove Herald. Hi, Albert. Morning, Matt. Uh, so um, how has this gone down, the news that Boris Johnson and his wife Carrie, uh, their two young children, have been spotted in the village uh, since they uh, since they moved? Tell us where this is, this manor house they've bought. Yeah, so it's a manor house it's called Brightwell Manor. It's in Brightwell, come Stockwell, which is a very small, sleepy village in, um, in South Oxfordshire. Um, and to be honest, the, his new neighbours haven't been too happy that he's there. So they've, um, they, they've spotted him around the town. He uh, went to a village fete on Saturday. Um, and there's definitely been a mixed reaction in the village to his arrival. Um, does it come with hullabaloo if the Prime Minister moves into your village? Yes, it definitely does. So, I mean, one of their main concerns was the presence of armed police now that are in the village. So there's an incident uh, of a group of choir singers who are coming back from practice who bumped into one of the armed policemen outside his house. Um, and um, They weren't too happy about that. And then there's been an issue of drones. They've been flying over houses, kind of scoping the area. Um, so it's definitely, it's disturbed quite a kind of sleepy, peaceful village. And we, we should explain, it's quite a posh house. It's nine bedrooms, grade two listed, with a three-sided moat. Now, I can't help thinking that a moat only really works if it's got the full four sides. <laughs> That's a very fair point. Um, but yeah, no, it is definitely a pretty um, a, a pretty impressive home. Um, what's it like? Is it a posh village, this we're talking about, this um, uh, Brightwell come Sotwell? Yes, it is quite a posh village. It's, it's very small, only around sort of 1,500 people. It's very sort of hidden away, very picturesque. Um, you know, there's, a, there's one pub, one village shop, uh, a primary school, but it's a very sort of tight-knit, strong, strong community, which is why I feel... I think they feel quite sort of um, distressed that it's kind of it's it's been upset. And is there any sense uh, that he might be welcomed back as uh, as the local MP for for Henley? Obviously, Boris Johnson used to be the MP there before he stood down, became London Mayor. He's now MP in Uxbridge. Doesn't have a very big majority. Uh, Henley's up for grabs because John Howe's standing down. Would you think they'd welcome him back as their local MP? I mean, I think in Henley he's still quite popular. They um they they really liked him by the time when he was there um when he was their MP. Um, we have spoken to a source in the local Conservative Party who says that uh, they don't think the local Conservative Party would back him if he chose to run again for Henley, um, and that they're now working the assumption that they're looking for other candidates besides him to replace the, the outgoing John Hall. 